What's going on friends? The number one thing I'm usually asked about a Harley Davidson exhaust system is I just want to put a set of slip-ons on it. Can I do that without having to tune the motorcycle? Well, there's a couple of factors that you're going to need to consider first and also maybe a little tuning later on down the road. So slip-on exhaust are one of the best enhancements you could possibly make to any Harley-Davidson motorcycle. Now, whether you've bought a new bike or you bought a used one that still has the stock exhaust system on it, first thing anybody wants to do is go ahead and put a set of pipes on it. But hold on. If you've looked at what the cost of a quality slip-on and a flash tuner cost, it can be pretty pricey. So if your motorcycle has O2 sensors, you can start there. That's a good candidate for going ahead and just bolting on a set of slip-ons. But the number one thing you need to be aware of is you can bolt on a, a set of slip-ons without changing anything. And by not changing anything, I mean you have to have your stock airbox on the bike as well. So before we get too far in today's video, please don't forget to drop a like on the video if you enjoy it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Now, if your motorcycle has the stock airbox on it, you can bolt on that set of slip-ons without changing too much of what your air-fuel ratio is going to be, especially considering that that factory air-fuel ratio is already pretty, pretty lean. Especially as you can see here, this is the fuel map from my stock bike. All this dark orange here, that's just how lean this is. That is supposedly the best place to burn gasoline for the least amount of emissions. While the EPA says it's great for the environment, it's not great for your motorcycle. So by not tuning your bike and just bolting on that set of slip-ons, your ECM, the fuel trims, have to compensate for that change in airflow with it coming out of the engine. That's why you want to leave your stock air cleaner. That way you're, not, you're basically not getting too far out of the range of what that ECM can compensate for. Now, if your motorcycle has O2 sensors, that's even better because the O2 sensors are gonna give a little bit more of a range and kind of tell the ECM what's going on, like, hey, something's changed here, add a little bit more fuel. But the trick is, even with the O2 sensors, it's only gonna add so much fuel to the motorcycle, just because the air-fuel ratio that it has to maintain. Now, I like to only do this to bikes that have O2 sensors. The Harleys from 2007 to the present all have O2 sensors in the exhaust system. Now, Sportsters didn't get them until 2014. If the bike doesn't have O2 sensors, it's relying solely on the fuel map that's in the ECM. That static fuel map is all it's got to run on. Also, this varies between bikes what kind of results you're gonna get by just bolting on a set of slip-ons. Some bikes do just fine with it. Other bikes have a lot of issues with decel popping. because no two engines are alike, unfortunately. Now, if you do decide to bolt on a set of slip-ons to it, you can't expect a whole lot of performance gain out of it. You really can't expect much more than just sound out of it because your bike's still not gonna be getting the fuel it needs. So, to answer the question, yes, you can bolt on just a set of slip-ons and go on down the road, but with the stock air cleaner, and in my opinion, it's best to do it on a bike that has O2 sensors on it. Now let's say you really want to move on from just the slip-on exhaust system and you want to put on a custom air cleaner or you just overall want your bike to run better but you don't want to invest all that money into a flash tuner. Flash tuner being something like the Fuel Pack 3 or the Power Vision or the Screaming Eagle race tuner. I really don't recommend the street tuner unless you're maintaining emissions or warranty. But if you've ever checked out prices on these things, you know they can run anywhere from four to six, seven, eight, upwards of $1,000 if you go with the Thunder Max, which completely replaces your entire ECM. If you're, if you're just looking to do a stage one, which is basically just pipes and an air cleaner, and you're really not have any interest in going any further with doing any internal engine work as far as cams, big bore kits, you just want to get your bike running right. Now, even a stock motorcycle, as lean as they run, they can benefit from a little fueling. So I've put together a couple of products here today that kind of help keep the cost down as far as if you decide to change your motorcycle up a little bit, do a little tuning, and make it run a little bit better. Now, these products are somewhat considerably less than a flash tuner. They're not as advanced as a flash tuner, 
but they will get the fueling right in your motorcycle. And the first product on my list today is one of the most simple products. This product has been around forever, and this is the XIED. Now the XIED is one of the quickest, easiest, most efficient ways to get more fuel in your motorcycle to eliminate some of that decel popping, cool the engine down, and really get the motorcycle fueled correctly. Now the XIEDs, these work in line with your O2 sensors and your ECM to enrich your fuel mixture by up to 6%. These work with the indirect richening through the ECM's learning mode or adaptive fuel action built into the ECM. And this also gives you the richer 13.8 to 12.5 AFR when you're wide open throttle or heavy loads. And this will also maintain the 14.0 to 14.6 range in closed loop mode which is really good for your gas mileage when you're just cruising down the highway. XIED, one of the quickest, easiest ways to fuel your motorcycle. These things, they're relatively inexpensive. I mean, I've seen them out there anywhere from $89 to $130. Just depends on the year model of your bike and also the model, whether it's a Touring, a Softail, or a Dyna. Even at $130, that's a pretty inexpensive way to get your bike fueled and help correct some of that decel popping, backfiring, and also make your bike run a lot smoother because you're not starving it from fuel with that very lean factory tune they come with these days. Now, if you want to step up into a little bit more complicated system, a bit more expensive, now this is anywhere from two to $300. This is the Cobra FI 2000. The Cobra FI 2000 comes fully factory adjusted and ready to go depending on your make and model. And these work with or without O2 sensors. Cobra also says these pretty much act like modern day carb tuning. These units have three function screws. The first is being like your air fuel mixture ratio, your second being like a needle and clip, and the third, your main jet. Now while these units come fully ready to go from the factory, if you do need to make some minor adjustments, Cobra's kind of wanting you to look at this unit just like you would have adjusted a carburetor years ago, or even today for you carbureted guys. So if carbureted guys are looking at a a new fuel injected bike but you're worried about the tuning, the Cobra FI 2000 may just be right up your alley. If you're following it by the way they say, with those three little adjustments right there, I think you guys could get it dialed in pretty easily. Now for my favorite fuel tuner today on this list, of course, it's got to be from Fuel Moto. This is the Fuel Moto Micro Tuner. This is based on the Power Commander 5 software and it uses DinoJet Power Commander 5 maps. This allows individual cylinder tuning and allows you to tune out that decel pop. It also stores up to three maps on the unit, which you can switch to directly on the unit. And also, Fuel Moto pre programs these units based on your specs. So, guys, at $199 and being Power Commander uh, 5 software and using Power Commander 5 software maps from DinoJet, that's really hard to beat. And also the fact that when you order one of these from Fuel Moto, all you gotta do is tell them, hey, I've got slip-ons, hey, I've got a aftermarket air cleaner, and they'll go ahead and get it all set up for you and shipped right to you. And then of course from there, if you got any problems with it, you can call Fuel Moto up and they'll walk you through making some adjustments to it to get it dialed in for your specific motor. Because once again, no two motors are alike. So guys, whether you were thinking about just putting a set of slip-ons on your bike or you already have, you could breathe a sigh of relief. Yes, you can bolt them on there. Just make sure you have the stock air cleaner. And for me personally, I prefer to do it on a bike with O2 sensors. Now, if you've already got a set of slip-ons on there and you're having some issues with it or you're looking to go to an aftermarket air cleaner, we've looked at some very cost-effective solutions today to help get some of that decel pop out of there, that backfiring, and make your bike run good. And once again, you can put these fuel tuners on a completely bone stock motorcycle. I highly recommend it. Now the downside of the fuel tuners are, is that you're not gonna be able to go put a set of cams in it. You're not gonna be able to put a big bore kit on. These things are basically really good for adjusting for just air cleaners, exhaust, and getting a richer mixture in your bike. So it's just more, it's just more enjoyable to ride that way. But anyhow guys, I hope that helped you out, answered some questions for you. Don't forget to drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And guys, that's all I've got for you this week. I will catch you next week in next week's video. Thanks for watching guys.